Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn about how to convert equivalents. So this worksheet is in your Google Slides. And in order to do the conversions of the equivalents, means that they are equal. The word equal is in there, E-Q-U-I-L, equivalents. You need to know the knowns, the known measurements. Again, just like there's 12 inches in a foot, we know there are 16 ounces in a pound, three teaspoons in a tablespoon, two tablespoons in an ounce, eight ounces in a cup, two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. So if I know these, then I can do these equivalents. So I'm going to start with the first one and maybe the second one, and then I'm going to show you another way, uh, several ways to find the answers for these. So the rest of them you can do on your own. And then what I'll have you do is upload those answers and send them back to me. So the first one is tablespoons to cups. And before I go any further, what I need to know is what is the known of tablespoons to cups? How many tablespoons are in a cup? And if you remember from doing this mnemonic device, you will know that there are 16 tablespoons in a cup. If you remember correctly, there are two, two tablespoons in an ounce, and there are eight ounces in a cup, so two times eight is 16. So if each ounce is two tablespoons, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 tablespoons in a cup. So I have 32 tablespoons. I know that 16 goes into 32 evenly two times. So my answer would be two cups. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, sometimes people will draw these things out. So if I make a drawing and I know there's 16 tablespoons. In one cup. And I take the 16 away from the 32. How much do I have left? Well, I have 16. And I can draw that many. tablespoons and that gives me two cups. Or I have a formula that I'm going to show you. Okay. So we were solving for X, which was two. So the X goes here. The C for the X goes here, the unit of measure. Then that means the tablespoon goes up on top. So I know I have 16 tablespoons in one cup. So then I'm looking for 32 tablespoons. So the, now I'm going to cross multiply. So 16 times X would be 16 X. 1 times 32 would be 32. And then I solve for x, which is 32 divided by 16. This line is a division. Divided by 16, which gives me 2. And that's the answer, 2 cups. So that is a way that you can use this formula. Okay. The next item, I have pints to gallons. And if I look at this one, and I remember that the yellow ones are the pints, 
then I know that there are eight pints in a gallon. So if there are eight pints in one gallon and I have 12 gallons, some of you can probably do this in your head quite easily. Basically it's eight goes into 12, how many times? And that would be one and a half gallons. But if I have eight here and I subtract the eight from the 12, then I have four left over and four we see makes up a half of a gallon. That tells me I have one and a half gallons. That's another way to do it. Or I can get my formula back out. And I can plug in some numbers. My known, actually first I'm gonna start here is I'm looking for X, which is gallons. My known, and remember you have to keep the units of measures the same on each side of the equation. But my known is that there are eight pints per gallon. I have 12 pints. I do my math and I cross multiply. And this is a divider, 12 divided by eight is one and a half. Technically, you can also reduce this or simplify this, and you find a common denominator, which would be four. Four goes into 12 three times. Four goes into eight two times. That's three halves. And to find out, to take this improper fraction and put it into a proper fraction, you do a little division. Again, this is a divider, so it's three divided by two, two goes into three once, two times one is two, subtract the two from the three, that's one. And then you're gonna bring this number up as the numerator and this is denominator, one and one half. So now you get to work on the rest of them on your own. If you get stuck, Call me, text me, ask me in Zoom, whatever you need to do. Ask a friend, that's fine too, but just don't ask for the answer. Find out how to get the answer, and that way you'll be able to do that on your own without having to ask other people.